And almost 50,000 vaccine appointments booked up at Publix pharmacies in barely two hours. The signups began at 6 yesterday morning after the two city-run sites at senior centers closed. But as Renata DiGregorio explains, you can still get your second dose there. Grab a pen and paper and write down this number to get a COVID-19 appointment at Regency Square Mall. 1-866-200-3762. Regency is giving the vaccine by appointment only and is a walk-up, not drive-up site. You do not have to live in Duval County to get the shot. If you are 65 or older and go to the doctor at UF Health, Mayo Clinic, Baptist Health, or St. Vincent's, you may be able to get a vaccine from them and should ask your doctor. The vaccination sites at the Mandarin and Lane Wiley Senior Centers closed because the city ran out of the vaccine. Mayor Lenny Curry says the city does not have an ETA on when they'll get more because of a national logistics issue. Governor Ron DeSantis said Tuesday he's asked the federal government for more doses. And the CDC has updated its guidance about when a person should get the second COVID vaccine dose. The recommended time between doses is 21 days for the Pfizer vaccine, 28 days for the Moderna version. But the CDC now says while the second dose should be administered as near to that recommended time as possible, it can be scheduled as long as six weeks later if necessary. And many of you might be wondering what you can do if you don't qualify for a vaccine right now. If you are younger than 65 and have an underlying health condition, you might be able to get the shot. The Florida Health Department says that you can ask your primary care doctor if they are affiliated with a local hospital. The department says your doctor can ask the hospital whether you qualify for a shot. So again, your doctor must be affiliated with a hospital that has vaccine available. For more information about how to sign up for vaccine appointments that we know are going on, Look for the county by county breakdown on our website, firstcoastnews.com, and you will find it in the featured section, which is about halfway down the front page.